Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, thank you for all your comments and all your support. It really means a lot. And in this video, I want to talk to you about my amazing 1994 Mercedes W140 uh, S320. I really love this thing, especially because this uh, car has a really beautiful color on the outside and the exterior or the inside. Uh, and the inside has actually um, a beautiful uh, cream leather uh, interior. So uh, I'm really happy because, uh, you know, this car is actually coming along. It's in good hands right now. And I just wanted to, before we start this video, just want to actually uh, show you, you know, like what I did to it. And I already replaced the front brakes on it. So I just wanted you to go ahead and watch uh, these few clips on how I was replacing the front brakes. Uh, it's not going to be too long. So, yeah, stay tuned. And then we'll come back to today's clip and we're going to talk about more problems that I have with this 1994 W140. Anyways guys, so you just saw how I was replacing the uh, front brakes on this thing and as you can see I started cleaning the wheels. The front wheels are so bad on it. There's a lot of caked up um, brake dust on it. So you can literally, you can get like a, grab a screwdriver, you can actually start like peeling all this, you know, uh, layer of brake dust. There's at least one millimeter of brake dust. Uh, uh, build up on this thing and also another problem is that as you can see I started cleaning like the, these uh, trims and the problem is that all this uh, brake dust because the, the brakes were so bad and they were so worn out for a while and the previous owners were you know driving it like this and uh, that caused uh, this brake dust to actually accumulate and just get uh, caked onto these uh, trims and everything which really sucks you know so and I'm trying right now to actually do my best and be really careful when cleaning this because I don't want to damage the clear coat or anything like that you know so that's really important so I'll be really careful doing this um, I'll just take my time and eventually I will get it nicely cleaned up you know and like I said here's the condition of the wheels or the tires the tires are really bad on this thing they're super bald um, and they're pretty old as well so I'm gonna have to do something with these tires probably just change them install new ones on another problem is this uh, you know 
headlight right here the glass you know it had a hole in here so i just made did uh, i didn't like uh, i didn't i decided to do like an experiment and just uh, uh filled it with uh, a sealant and to see just if this condensation goes away but it didn't all right um so that's another thing that i'll have to replace either i'll replace, replace the uh, entire assembly or i will just uh, order a new glass for this thing all right guys the next thing is uh i still need to wash this car because this car is actually super dirty uh i didn't really get a chance to wash this thing because i've been i've been working on a lot of different other projects you know not just my cars but other projects as well so it uh, you know takes time but uh um i'll just show you the trunk really quick it's really sweet look at this handle that pops out there's still a lot of stuff in the trunk okay um i took off some of the interior trim pieces you know because i was cleaning them because the interior on this thing is still it's actually super dirty and so i started cleaning the interior on it uh but i really love this thing because it has a really huge trunk and everything the only thing is that it's missing a factory jack and spare so i literally when i drove this car home i drove it with bald tires and i didn't even have any spare tires for it so let me show you the interior really quick so i started cleaning it all right that's how the door panels look um all right and i literally started cleaning it and i still need to clean this seat belt because it's so nasty and dirty as you can see on that side i started cleaning the uh seat belt I actually had it soaking in hot water hot soapy water which actually helps a lot so that's nice and then i started cleaning all this area still need to finish cleaning it because it's not completely clean but it used to be so nasty and dirty and this trim that goes under the seat still have to clean this so there's still quite a bit of work left to do on this car and i want to replace the shifter because i don't know how but i don't know some some somehow people just uh, manage to like really like wear this down like how like do they scratch their finger or nails like on this shifter knob or what but it's like always like in every classic mercedes i see just just like always worn out same thing with one my 190e i still need to get a radio code for this car which is not a big deal i'm not worried about that um and then yeah as you can see this trim piece which was in the trunk is uh off because i just wanted you know i, I lifted the carpet just to see what's underneath if everything is good and it was good all right um the next biggest thing on this car is um even though the car is unlocked but you cannot open the right rear door that right rear door is stuck shut you cannot even open it from the inside uh door handle so even if i wanted to open it from the inside handle as you can see it's unlocked but it just won't open up it's pretty crazy so i still need to brainstorm on that guys but i'll figure it out you know i really don't want to rip out that door panel so i'll keep brainstorming other than that the car is in amazing shape you know i will start cleaning the bottom of the doors and i will start fluid filming and preserving everything here uh, protecting it from rust and also uh, once a week uh you know i always uh, at least once or twice a week i put uh you know the uh, leather conditioner on this thing everywhere and you see how nice and shiny this is so yeah that's what i do always uh, i always keep the sunshade in there and things like that and then another problem on it is these side mirrors are loose so when i was driving on a highway it was just literally flopping like this Another sad part about this car is when I got it, it already had a cracked rear windshield, you know. It's not super bad, but there are multiple cracks going across top and bottom and side, which sucks. Check out how nicely this trunk closes. It has that suction. I really love this thing. It's super cool. By the way, this is the wrong badge. I think one of the previous owners was... Uh, a teenager and he just wanted to look cool so he put s500 on it so we'll see i might even keep it or not i don't know uh, but uh, eventually he's gonna get s320 uh, badge for this thing that's how it came out from the factory you can see how much the car was unloved by previous owners just all the dirt here and like i said i, I still haven't gotten to like you know cleaning all this thing uh you know completely because i was focused on a lot of other things and projects that were wrong with this car right now mainly like i said i'm focused on the interior cleanup because the interior is so bad uh this side i already cleaned it up nicely it looks really good and amazing 
Uh, but that side, for example, I haven't really touched it, so it's it's pretty dirty over there actually. All right, and then I have to figure out these headrests right here. They don't stay up, so I have to figure that out. There's a cover missing for the third brake light switch or a uh, light. Um, yeah, other than that, this is not looking too bad. I just have to clean the headliner a little bit carefully. All right, so it's not too horrible. All right, everything is there and nice. And I also have to order factory floor mats because the floor mats in the, that you saw in the trunk, there was only one of them for this car. So I have to order the factory floor mats as well. And I think I'm gonna order something similar to this color um, that says Mercedes logo on them. All right, but other than that, like I see, beautiful, um, you know, door panels. I cleaned this door panel as well, carefully right here scrubbed it a little and then applied a uh, leather conditioner on this side same thing the mirror is flopping around it's loose now we go on this side i didn't clean this side all right so this is how you can see this this uh mat wasn't here so when previous owner was driving this car or whatever they didn't have any floor mats here so when i was driving it back i asked them for like some cardboard because you know look at this you know nice carpet i mean you're gonna stain it really bad and yeah so that's why i was you know driving i had some you know cardboard here um so yeah i didn't stain uh, the, these carpets even more but as you can see everything is dirty here i still have to clean this side and this uh right here the seat belt is out right now because i was soaking it in i had a hot bucket of soapy water here and it was soaking this thing all right and then this is how the steering wheel looks really beautiful i really love this thing so much and everything it's also missing the parking uh release handle so i'll have to get that all right um and then what else yeah it's just a bunch of miscellaneous things mainly it's just uh, i'm focusing on uh, interior cleanup right now and also this uh mirror right here is also loose you see that i don't know how but they probably broke it trying to take it out or something i'm not sure anyways guys let's go look under the hood one more thing is that these wipers are really in bad condition and they will need to be replaced and they're currently not working okay as i think there's something wrong with the wiper really so i still have to figure that out i didn't have a chance to do it yet but soon i will all right but as you can see these these things are so bad i need to replace them like they're broken these wipers so that's another thing to take care of then we have these um almost 30 year old uh, uh headlamp wipers that are actually like pretty like hardened up and they're not good so i'll have to replace those as well This is one of the wheels that actually didn't clean. As you can see, it's super dirty and covered in brake dust and severe brake dust. So this will have to be done. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the tire condition is just horrible. Okay. All right, guys. So this is how the engine looks under the hood. I didn't clean anything over here. The only thing I did to this car was just the oil change and filter change. All right. Um, and yeah everything is still needs to be cleaned up but i lubricated a few things i lubricated these uh um hood latches with automatic transfer the same thing with hood hinges i lubricated that and there's still a lot of debris right here and as you can see uh, so i need to unclog that because that's pretty bad so yeah this car has been you know sitting under a tree for a while and then this is right here this is the wiper relay and apparently one of the contacts like previous owner said just broke off or something i don't know what they were doing but maybe i just have to put it back together or solder it and you know hopefully my wipers will start working so it will be in another video sometime but yeah this is one of the most amazing and lovely engines you know these engines have problems here and there but who cares they're amazing um inline six 3.2 liter m104 engine um i still need to check the wiring harness on this thing just to make sure it's good uh because i haven't really um dug deep into it but uh anyways um everything else seems to be good uh amazing machine uh, the hood pad is in everything is there you know nothing is missing even the fan shroud is there which is really nice because a lot of people are just uh 
when they work on these engines they're just too lazy to put the fan shrouds back and things like that so yeah but i'm super grateful about this car i really love this thing this is a nice collective car that i'm gonna add to my um collection i really love this thing and like i said I'm, i apologize it still needs to be washed and detailed but slowly but surely she's getting there all right another problem with this thing is that i cannot lock it or unlock it using the driver's side lock it turns but i think there's like an actuator like a plastic actuator that broke or something like that a while ago so i have to open it and i'll you know close it or lock it and unlock it using the passenger side lock all right guys as far as the suspension and other stuff on it i haven't really checked too much i haven't checked the rear suspension or anything like that but i know the axle boots are still fine they're a little cracked but uh, the front suspension, I think it's gonna need new wheel bearings in the future and also to adjust them because they're a little noisy and one of them is loose. So it might just need an adjustment, but they're getting a little noisy. So I'll probably have to replace them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, other than that, everything still looks fine on the suspension. I didn't really feel any looseness in the front suspension that much. So that's a good sign. But another really interesting thing about this car is that the transmission on it uh, has some issues, okay? It has a leak, so somebody did the filter and fluid change on it and they didn't do it properly, so it has a, uh, like a transmission fluid leak. I think it's from the driver's side of the transmission or the passenger side from the transmission. So I still have to investigate that, but the previous owner told me that he was topping it off every so often, you know? And actually he overfilled it a lot, like crazy. Uh, but anyways, long story short is that, yeah, the transmission has some issues, especially the reverse gear, because these 722.4 transmissions, they have issues with the reverse gear. So we'll see what I'm gonna do. As, as of right now, it's still fine, it's drivable, but I'll have to address that in the future, probably either replace the transmission or rebuild it. We'll see what happens, but you know, we never give up on uh, these amazing cars and none of the other cars. So thank you so much for watching, guys. That's probably gonna be it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care, bye.